Hey guys, Scott with Heritage Farms, Texas. Well, here it is on a Wednesday afternoon. This is something different. Well, the Christmas holidays are officially starting. Uh, throwing in the towel, burning the last of my vacation days, so I'm off from work for the balance of the year. And guess what? We're going to kick it off with a major winter storm. Pretty much everybody in the U.S. is getting a little bit of this storm. But it's coming through here uh, Thursday morning into Friday. And uh, we're expecting some really, really cold temps. It's going to get down single digit temperatures but what's bad is we're going to have 40 mile an hour north winds so the wind chills are going to be negative below zero wind chills we're just not used to that now luckily it's not like the february winter storm from two years ago in the sense that we're not expecting any uh, heavy precipitation we're not anticipating any snow or ice but we do think uh, we're going to get some really really bad winds uh, which could knock trees down, but uh, more importantly, when it's 7 degrees and the wind's blowing 40 miles an hour out of the north, that's dangerous. It's dangerous to cattle. So today I'm coming in, uh, we're going to stockpile everything, so we're going to put out a bunch of hay today. Uh, we're going to try to put it out in areas next to cedar tree breaks so the cows can get in the cedars, get out of the wind and uh, make sure they got plenty. They'll eat more when the weather gets cold and it's their way of generating heat. So I wanna make sure they're stocked up and have plenty of uh, plenty of hay to make it. Uh, with the holiday coming up and everything, it might be three days before I get back down here. And I just wanna make sure uh, we got everybody uh, stocked up to survive this storm. So uh, more to follow. We'll give you a couple of little uh, clips. Okay, well, what are we doing? We're getting ready for the winter storm. So that way is north. But if you look around today, it looks like a beautiful day. Look at that pickup truck carrying hay, man. Every cowboy around is getting ready because tomorrow morning it is gonna be dropping like a rock with strong, strong north winds, single digits. We're in a world of hurt. So what am I doing? I'm putting out hay, really stocking the cows up. They go through about a bell a day at this location. But why did I pick this spot? Well, the reason I picked this spot is it's down here by the woods. So when the winds are really howling, the cows can get down in the woods, stay a little bit warmer. I also put these bales of hay in here. So when all of the cows are around, their body heat helps them. Also, it'll get on the ground a little bit. They'll lay in it. It's a little bit warmer than laying on the ground. So that's what we're doing. So let's walk around here. There's another little area over here. And you can see we kind of took the same approach. This little area in here is kind of protected. It's a little higher ground. Hey girl, what's up? Oh, they're looking good. Now this is the younger registered Simmental Angus group here. So every lady in this pasture is registered Sim Angus. So same thing here, man. We got the trees around, good protection because that way is north. So we got a lot of woods here to protect them. They can get out of the weather. They can get in here, a lot of cedars. So that's why we picked this spot. All right, I'll show you what we're doing at Telephone 2. Okay, well, here we are at Telephone 2, and I thought I'd give you guys an example of what we did for uh, winter storm prep here. So you see, we got all of these woods on this side of the road, and this is kind of a draw. So it's down, it's kind of a low spot through here. You got the creek that runs right down here. There's a culvert that goes across and into the woods. So this is north. So the wind is blowing that way. So we don't want to put the cows out in the middle of the pasture where they get the full brunt of the uh, north wind. So we put them in here in this little draw up against these trees where you can see they actually get back in the trees. They can lay down. They'll spill a little hay like they're already doing over here. It's kind of just a warm area that they can hang out. Hopefully the wind's coming from the north, the trees will block it, and they'll have a little bit of protection down here. Hey, at the end of the day, man, they just have to survive, but anything I can do to help them, I'm gonna do it. So uh, we pretty much, uh, this, this group is going through a bale of hay every single day. So we got five bales out. Hopefully that'll get us uh, to Christmas or get us past Christmas, we'll see. But uh, the main thing is when uh, the weather's really bad, all you wanna do is ride around and check them. You really don't wanna be out here putting out hay. 
so I'd rather put hay out a day in advance and get it all ready. So that's what we're doing, storm prep. Okay, guys, here's the bull calves uh, that we have. And uh, there's Winston, as we call him. He's our Simmental bull. And uh, one of the things I really haven't told you guys is I've told you before that uh, we're into registered Simmental Angus, but my philosophy on this is I'm not, I don't want a lot of Simmental. And what I'm looking for is I'm looking for basically that crossbred figure. And uh, Simmental's got just a slightly little bit larger frame. And for a weekend rancher who's only here on the weekends, I need, a, I don't want to pull any calves. And my experience has been with some of the smaller Angus ones, you know, you got some problems, you know, every once in a while having to pull a calf. Well, you get a little bit larger frame on them. You don't have to pull as many calves. They've got a bigger pelvic score. And uh, look at that guy. Uh, uh, uh. He has got a good, good pedigree also. These are all out of a Hooks Beacon uh, granddad, if you want to uh, look at that, or I should say, yeah, granddad. There's the dad, duh. All right, so what are we doing? We're getting ready for winter prep. So uh, today I had to put out a little bit of feed for them just so I could get in and out of the gate. They get incredibly frisky when that happens. Right there is where there was, let's see if I can get my finger in here. Right there is where we had the hay feeder before. So I took the hay ring off, I put a bucket of feed on top of the hay that's left. That way they'll eat it up to the ground. And way in the distance back there, I moved the hay ring and put out a hay. Now, why did I put it back there? Well, with this northern coming through in the 40 mile an hour north winds, that direction is north. So the winds are coming this way. I wanted the cows or the bulls to have the ability to get right up against the fence row, have a wind block, be able to sit there and eat and uh, try to stay warm. What's up there, guy? Well, they're pretty happy at the moment. Uh, let's see, that one walking over towards the big bull, he is the youngest one in here. And uh, he is by far the youngest. What's up, guys? All right, that's what we have, man. Winter storm prep, Telephone, Texas. I hope they're wrong and they miss it. Uh, 40 mile an hour winds and single digit temperatures is just a uh, terrible, terrible, thing to have to deal with so uh there you go okay so i'm back at the barn at telephone one so i'll show you the last little bit of uh winter storm prep that we did number one we shut down the well house what do you mean we shut down the well house well the first thing we did was we uh, flipped the breaker turned the uh, pump off we opened the main dry drain on it bled the water out this water faucet right here an old timer told me once that if you put those faucets going up like that, they're less likely to freeze. Ever since I've been doing that, I haven't had one busted. But anyway, the faucet is open, so uh, hopefully we'll be good there. Just back up here. Come over here, show you what we did. So we have another faucet over here. Same deal. We just totally uh, left that faucet open. And then uh, we filled everything up. But then normally we just have the steers in here and the heifers are on the outside because there's a pond back there that the heifers could drink out of. But right now with the weather coming, we thought it would be best to get them, uh, to give the heifers access to the barn, get a little shelter, got a little bit of a wind break. We also moved this hay in here because that's north. The wind's gonna be coming and it howls through this barn. So having the hay there is a little bit of a wind break, slows it down a little or at least in theory, that's the plan. So uh, that's what we're doing. Heifers and steers, spring calves. All right, guys, well, that's gonna be a wrap. It's uh, Thursday about 4 p.m. Everybody's stocked up on hay. Now it's just up to mother nature and survival instincts. As always, glory be to God. Leave us a comment if you're new to the channel, please subscribe and hey, tell me what you guys do uh, if you have cattle for winter prep. Love to hear from you. And if we don't speak, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year's.